Hi everybody, I have had a little whisper in my ear that some of you are struggling with the nested shapes USB on how to group all the pieces together to resize it. So I'm going to do that for you right now. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really simple. I'm going to try and use as few words as possible and just make it really easy for you. Okay, so we're going to go pattern, save data and into the USB. We're going to go to miscellaneous shapes and we're going to choose number 11. And the first thing you're going to do is scroll down and bring on the actual design, the patterned frame itself, which is that one. So we're going to let that load. And then we're going to group that together. So we've got that part done and we can move it out of the way. So I'm going to press OK. And we're going to go to the box that accesses other screens. And we're going to multiple select, which is the three red squares everything that's on the mat so the complete image of the mat we're going to press ok and we're going to group it together and we're going to move that to one side then i'm going to press ok and i'm going to add and we're going to go back into the same file so usb miscellaneous shapes number 11 and we'll do the inner frames first so we're going to do the inner nested frames and I know on the inner nested, we've got outward nested. Those two work together. So you've got inward nested shapes and then you've got outward nested shapes for the inner ones, if you like. So we gave you extras. So if you're doing little sentiment plaques, things like that, you can work with those two sets of files, but I'm not gonna do anything with it in this video. I just want to keep it as simple as possible for you. So once it's retrieved these, we're going to group those together, but we're going to group them separately to the detail frame. And I think that might be where one or two of you are struggling. So we'll do that because it's really easy. It's just knowing how the machine works. And I'm hoping that if you bought the educational USB, you might know some of this by now, but it's always worth doing it again. So it's brought up those frames now. So I'm going to press OK and put them on that workable mat. So I want to group all these five frames here together but without including this one. So I'm going to go do the same thing again, but multiple select, but this time I'm going to select part of the screen. And can you see how part of it's greyed out in this image? That's the button that you need. So we're going to press that and I'm going to drag the arrow across here so it greys out part of that mat, just like that image showed you. So I'm going to press OK now and come out of it until I find group and I'm grouping that bit together. And I'm going to move that down there. I'm not aligning it, I'm not messing with it, I'm just moving it out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is add and save data and USB and back into miscellaneous shapes, back into number 11 and we're going to do the outer frames. So we've now got the outer nested frames. I'm going to click on that, I'm going to press OK and now I want to group these five together but without those. So we do the same thing, multiple select, part of the mat, drag that across like that, press OK and keep going until you get to group and then you've got that, those five grouped, those five grouped and your actual frame itself grouped. So the next thing we need to do is align all these so that they sit inside each other. So we're then going to multiple select everything on the mat and press OK. We're going to go to our directional arrow buttons and we're going to align them centrally vertically and centrally horizontally. We're going to press OK twice and we're going to group them and then everything moves as one part. So if you then want to resize it, you go to your resize box and you can make it smaller or bigger. Like that. Okay. So that's how you group them together and resize them. I'm going to take you one step further and show you how you then ungroup everything. So we're going to press OK and right now you've got three files. You've got your inward nested, your decorative and your outward nested all grouped together. So we need to ungroup all those three. So we click that. We can see it's grouped because it's purple. So we ungroup that and to finish that process you tap the screen. So now I've got, still got all those three sets, but there's three separate sets. So watch, I've got my outward. I move that button to get to my frame. 
and then press that arrow to get to my inward nested ones. Can you see there? So I don't want, once you've got it to the size that you want, what I would do is delete off that frame or even better, press OK and save it into the machine's memory. It's telling me that it's including a group pattern, but because I want to cut it as a frame, I'm all right with that. So I'm going to save it and I'm saved it, saving it into the machine's memory. So next time you want that shape, instead of having to go back into the USB and bring it on and group it, you've already got it and it's quicker. That's the only reason I'm doing it, because it's quicker. And once you've finished on that project, you can delete it out of the machine's memory if you want to, or put it onto a USB. Right, so I can now get rid of that because I've saved it. So now I've got my outward nested dies and my inward nested dies in two separate piles like that. So let's work with the inward ones first and we can then ungroup those and tap the screen. So I've now got five separate, bear with, you see there, I've got five separate mats and layers with one millimeter difference in between, okay? So then you will choose which one you want and you will cut that out. So I can get rid of all those now, so I can put those in the bin. And then we can do exactly the same just to show you with the larger ones, which is this one, still grouped. So we're ungrouping it, tapping the screen, and they are now all five separate layers. Okay, and when you, when, when you look at that, you see it as a line. When the scan and cut looks at it, it sees it as a solid shape like that. Okay, so this is what the scan and cut is seeing. It's seeing a solid circle. So if you remember, when I try to get the smaller ones, so if I do this, let me see if I can show you this. So multiples, let me just align all these back together. Right, so I tap the screen. So if I try and tap, in here now can you see how that red select line's not moving because they're on a pile on top of each other and i can't get the one underneath because it won't let me i can't tap on it because i can't get through that solid shape to get to it so that's why you use these arrows and what these arrows do is move and enable you to select so the out when it's at its biggest and you'll be able to tell when it's out at its biggest because if you zoom in and move along you can see that that line, that red select box is on the outside line. When I move it down, so that's number five, that's your biggest one. Then I go like that, that gives me number four, number three, number two, and number one. And then it goes back to number five. So that's how you work it. And that's why if you're tapping and tapping and tapping your screen, you can't get to it, it's because it's in a pile. But again, I cover all that on the um, educational USB. So if you've got that, you'll learn things like this on it. So that's how you bring them on, group them, resize them, ungroup them, and then save or not save, depending on what you want to do. I hope that's helpful. If you need any other help, just let us know. And as soon as I can, because it's a bit strange at the moment, trying to film while social, social distancing, let us know and we'll do the best that we can for you. Okay, take care. Bye.